Okay, now we're going to do 5.4 synthetic division with remainder. With remainder. Okay, so uh, now we have much more complicated problems. Right, you can see here I have 2x to the fourth, much bigger uh, polynomials now. So still going to do synthetic division the same way. Make my box, I'll put in my k value. Again, it's coming from here. This 2 turns into negative 2. Change the sign, change the sign, don't forget that. Okay, so uh, once I do that, I want to put in my coefficients. One thing to make sure you're doing correctly, especially with these bigger problems, is having something for every term. If you want to write this up top, x to the fourth, x to the third, x squared, x constant, that's fine. You should have something for every single term there. Okay? So, uh, x to the fourth, I see my coefficient here is 2. x to the third, my coefficient is 4. x squared, my coefficient is negative 5. x is negative 6. My constant is 11. Okay? Now you go into synthetic division. Uh, with more steps, it's easier to make a smaller mistake. There's more opportunities to make a smaller mistake. So make sure that you're doing everything sound. Make sure you're doing everything correctly. You're multiplying where you're supposed to multiply. Add where you're supposed to add. Okay? First step, drop the 2. Okay? Next step, multiply by k. So 2 times negative 2. I go diagonal. is negative 4. Okay? 4 plus negative 4 is 0. That's okay. That's fine. We'll talk about that. Uh, it's a special circumstance. Uh, we'll see it in a minute. Okay? Zero times k. Zero times anything is zero. So I'll put zero again. Add these. Negative five plus zero is negative five. Negative five times negative two is going to be positive ten. Add the row, or excuse me, add the column. Negative six plus ten is going to be positive four. Positive four. I have to multiply by k, it's going to be negative 8. Add these up, I get positive 3. Okay? Now, your final number, don't forget, is the remainder. Okay? So this time I do have a remainder. 3. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay? First, let's worry about this part. Okay? I said before in 5.3 that it's the same as these numbers, it's just shifted to the left one. So now this is my remainder. This is my constant term. This is my x term. This is my x squared term. And this is my x to the third term. So as long as you put those numbers in front of uh, these variables as coefficients, uh, you'll have this part correct. Okay? There is a little trick here with the zero, though. Okay? I'm going to write this out. 2x to the third. Okay? Plus 0x squared. I don't got to write it. Right, 0x squared doesn't exist. It's redundant. Right? So I can just move on. Negative 5x. Notice I don't have an x squared term there. That's fine. Plus 4. Okay? This is how synthetic division works. Now, let's talk about the remainder. Uh, in 5.2, when we talked about when we just had a constant at the end, and we put it over the denominator. Right? Same idea here, except... We'll use this instead. Okay, so this is what I'm putting over my original denominator. Okay, so it'll be plus 3 over x plus 2. Okay, that's your remainder, that's what's left over. Okay, this is your full answer. If you were going to try this a different way, this could take many more steps. Synthetic division, especially with bigger problems, is always the fastest way to go. Okay? So, this would be your answer. 2x to the third, negative 5x, positive 4, plus 3 over x plus 2. Okay? Let's try another one of those. Okay? Here, let's try this uh, problem now. We got 4x to the fourth plus 64x squared minus 7x minus 4 divided by x minus 4. Okay, so try to set up your synthetic division box uh, by yourself and then we'll come back together. Press play after you set up your synthetic division box.
Okay. This is what's going to happen, right? I put my K in, that's fine. X minus 4, I have to change the sign. Positive 4. Don't forget that. Very simple step that a lot of people just carelessly make a mistake on for some reason. Okay? So, positive 4 goes there. Where you're going to get tricked here a lot of times is inside here. My first number is going to be 4. Okay? My next number is not going to be 64. Okay? Because pay attention. X to the 4th, where's my X to the 3rd term? I don't have one, right? If you were writing these out up here, which you can do, that's fine. There's no x to the third. So I have to remember that there's zero there. Okay? Now x squared, x squared is 64. Okay? Uh, x to the first is negative seven. And my constant term is uh, excuse me, negative four. Okay? This is how it should be set up. It should be 4, 0, 64, negative 7, negative 4. Okay? With your k value being positive 4. Remember, change the sign. Okay? Don't make a mistake there. Right? Now go through the synthetic division. If you want to do this on your own, go ahead and press pause now, and then we'll come back together. Okay. Drop the 4. 4 times k is 16. Okay? Uh, Add this together, this is 16. This was supposed to be negative 64. Okay, I'll just change this real quick because I was trying to make a point here. Negative 64. Sorry, you can change anything. Hopefully, you're not writing in pen. Uh, 16 times 4 is going to be positive 64. Okay, add these together, that makes 0. Okay. A lot of times when they give you uh, big numbers like that, okay, it's because it's going to be adding out, so you get a lower number, right? Which is what I was trying to do, but I forgot to put the negative. Okay, uh, so I got a zero here. We saw that last problem. That's not a big deal. Zero times four is zero. Add that up, negative seven. Negative seven times four is negative 28. Add this up, that's negative 32. Sorry, if you tried that on your own, you have giant numbers. Yeah, because you would have had 128 there, and yeah, that would not have been fun. Sorry. Okay? So, uh, from here, again, remainder. Remainder. All right, let's worry about this stuff first. Okay? This is my constant. This is my x. This is my x squared. This is my x to the third. Okay? One thing you might notice, this number here is always one less of a degree than the original first term in the polynomial, right? It starts x to the fourth, now it's third. Third to second, second to first. x to constant, constant to remainder. Okay? If you want to think about it like that, that's fine. I like writing those out sometimes because I always get it right there, and you will too. Okay? So these are coefficients. So 4x to the third plus 16x squared plus 0x, I'm not going to write that, minus 7 Okay, and then my coefficient, I'm going to do plus whatever my remainder is, negative 32, divided by what I originally divided this problem by, x minus 4. That will be your answer. Okay, a couple things to make sure you're doing uh, is make sure you change the sign here. Make sure your uh, coefficients are all right and you don't miss like an x to the third is 0 here. And then make sure that your adding and multiplying correctly. Okay, it's very easy to make a small mistake. You guys are all allowed calculators, so use them if you need. Okay, uh, this was 5.4.